In this video, I will show you how to use the vertical cursor gadget to read XY coordinates from one or more graphs. We have a workbook which contains typical test and measurement data. This workbook has six worksheets. Each sheet contains multiple channels of data. All data has the same X values. We've created three stacked graphs in two separate folders. Each graph displays the data from the six worksheets, which is why we have the six layers. With channel one, that graph active, we're going to click on the gadgets menu and choose vertical cursor. I can drag the cursor now and read out the corresponding Y values for all the data plots. Let's go ahead and link the other two graphs. So I click the Link Graphs button. In the Graph Browser, I change that to be All Folders, and then I'm going to select Channel 10 and Channel 6 and move those over. All three graphs are now linked, and we're going to be able to read out the Y values for all data plots on all graphs, as you can see here. I'm going to go ahead and move the cursor to a new position. We can manually type in the value. We can then go ahead and tag, which will add labels to all the linked graphs. We're also going to generate a report. We're going to go to the report sheet, and in the report sheet, you're going to see the Y coordinates for all three graphs. Channel 1, Channel 10, and Channel 6. We're going to go to Folder 2. And we're going to click the little L button there which allows us to go to the cursor line window, which brings us back to the window that has the cursor on it. We can also select, you can right click here and unlink graph so we can remove this graph. So now we don't see the output for that particular graph. We can go ahead and add another tag We'll move the cursor first to point zero zero three five, tag that location, and we're going to see the new results for the two graphs. And if we go to the report, you'll see that channel 10, that particular graph, is not included because we unlinked it. So the tags and labels were not added. Now we can go back to folder 2 here. We can click the L again, left click on it, and then we can choose Move Cursor Line here. So that will move the cursor to this particular graph. So now we're working with that one. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.